welcome to Igor Tech channel. In this video, I will show you how to change recommended troubleshooting settings on Windows 10. Windows 10 can suggest and resolve common problems automatically with recommended troubleshooting. For instance, the feature can restore settings for critical services, change system settings to match your hardware or adjust many other settings that may help to keep your device running smoothly. In addition, Windows 10 can also recommend solutions for non-critical problems that may negatively impact the user experience. For example, recommended troubleshooting can suggest disabling a feature or an app that's not working correctly until there's a permanent fix through Windows Update. In this Windows 10 guide, we'll walk you through the steps to use recommended troubleshooting available with the May 2019 update. To adjust the recommended troubleshooting settings, use these steps. Open Settings. Click on Update and Security. Click on Troubleshoot. Under the Recommended Troubleshooting section, select the best option for your device. Run troubleshooters automatically, don't notify me, recommended fixes will apply automatically without any user interaction or knowledge. Run troubleshooters automatically, then notify me, issues will be fixed automatically without the need of user interaction, but Windows 10 will notify any changes. Ask me before running troubleshooters, you'll receive a notification to review the recommendation along with an option to run or ignore the fix. Don't run any troubleshooters, this will disable troubleshooters on Windows 10. In these steps, you'll no longer receive tailored recommendations to fix problems on your device, and you'll need to troubleshoot and fix issues manually. However, critical fixes will continue to apply automatically as it's a mechanism that can't be disabled. After selecting your best option, Windows 10 will try to fix problems using the settings that you specified. Although critical troubleshooting will happen automatically, you can still decide to apply or ignore fixes using recommended troubleshooting. To apply a recommended fix on Windows 10, under the Recommended Troubleshooting section, select the problem. Here in my case, it shows no recommended troubleshooters right now, since it's newly installed. Click the Run the Troubleshooter button. Note, you'll only be able to run troubleshooters manually if you're using the Don't Run Any Troubleshooters option. After you complete the steps, the fix will apply for the detected problem. If there are more recommendations, you'll need to run again the troubleshooter. On Windows 10, every attempt to fix a critical or recommended problem is logged on your computer to keep track of the issues that system resolved automatically. To see the troubleshooting history on your device, under the Recommended Troubleshooting section, click the View History option. See the list of fix attempts. Quick note, the history isn't available for built-in troubleshooters that you executed manually, such as Internet Connections, Printer, and Windows Update. After you complete the steps, you'll be able to see the fixes that Windows 10 attempted to fix and if they're successful. This covers how to use recommended troubleshooting on Windows 10. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.